Hello musicians, I have great, fantastic, awesome, the best news ever. So I've been looking at these flesh um, scales exercises, right? And I downloaded, no, you can actually go along to the Internet Archive, which is ap an absolutely fabulous resource. And I'm able from there to actually embed the whole book. So you can go along to suzuki.school and you can turn the pages virtually. Um, that would work really well if you've got an iPad or what you can do is you can do a screenshot, or just do a screen grab, put it on full, take a screen grab and then put it on your phone. I'm just thinking about ease of playing. Um, that's, that's what we need as musicians, isn't it? Um, so I really, really like these studies and I was just thinking, wouldn't it be great if we could find some for cellists? And I have actually found um, a site that does it. You you do have to go through a bit of a palaver. Make sure you, you know, click on the correct buttons and not on an advert. There's a lot of ad stuff, you know, a bit clickbaity, but it's not too bad. And it's called PDF Coffee, right? And they've got all the Suzuki books, actually. Um, but specifically, I wanted this um, scale system for Violentolo, Carl Flesch PDF. That's F-L-E-S-C-H. I've just downloaded it to my laptop. And the reason I did it on my laptop first was because my laptop has um, a thing that, you know, um, checks if something is safe. It doesn't have, um, you know, it's protection. It's my sort of computer protection. Um, and I thought, well, if it, if it's a bad un, then that will sort it out for me. But it's a good un. I had to wait about a minute because they haven't got a picture of it. So they had to sort of get the file ready. And then I just pressed download file. And it is now on my laptop. And I'm going to transfer that onto my um, my uh, pad. Because that uh, it's really good to use an iPad, actually, for music. Um, it's really good at night. You know, when it's quite dark, if you've got subdued lighting on. You can really see my eyes are terrible, so I, f I find that really useful. I mean, I can see in a couple of years that I'll have to get an even bigger iPad. Um, mine's fairly small, but, you know, young people can see clearly, like hawks, can they not? So I'm guessing that if you're a young person and you don't have to wear specs already, you'll be able to see these things really well on your phone. So great news, darlings. If you pop along now, if you're interested... I'm I'm going to be working through all these scales, but what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to work on them for piano, for cello and for viola. And that's all I'm going to do for the foreseeable future. Um, I'm not going to do pieces. I, I'm really keen to understand if this is the this is the way to go. So for the next month, I'm not going to do any pieces. I mean, the theory is that if you can do your scales, you can play any piece. Um, but I do really struggle reading their clef on the viola and it, it does slow me down. I have to write the letters in and, you know, and I haven't got three years to learn how to read their clef. I guess it wouldn't take that long. I can sight read a bit, um, but I, I'm always going to, I believe, I'm always going to have to write the odd note in there. Um, I quite like reading the treble clef, of course, and, and the viola does use a lot of treble clef, so we're all right there. So it's just these bass, these bass ones, you know. So we're looking at C major today. So yeah, if you pop along to the Internet Archive, right, that's archive.org. Um, I mean, if you want, um, if you just Google scale exercises or flesh um, uh, viola, make sure you get the viola ones. I haven't checked to see, actually. If there are, I, I'm look, just looking now, I don't think they have the the, the um, cello version, to be honest. But they may do, they may do. But I, as I say, I found the cello version on that PDF coffee site. So big recommend, how exciting. So just about to start those. Do enjoy playing your wonderful string instruments today. And a tip really for learning a new scale. If you're struggling a bit, just do the first three notes and just keep doing those for a bit because that t tells you if it's a major or a minor the th that third note is going to tell you the difference okay and then if you 
If you think about arpeggios, you know, quite often the arpeggio is really straightforward and you don't even have to worry about flats and sharps and things. So have a look at the arpeggio and then go back and try five notes and you've got your sort of major triad or your minor triad and then have a look at the last three. So you've got your your full octave. You see what I mean? Um, and obviously consistently moving up and down the fingerboard, which us string players have to do. We have to be good at it. But the joy when we are good at it, I mean, I get really smug when I'm good at a scale. Really, really smug. Um, so guys, have a great day. Hope you're, uh, ho I do hope you'll benefit from those things because I tell you what, those scales for violoncello were £45 on Amazon and I saw one site and they were $110. And you just think, blimey, that's, you know, that's not fair because, you know, this dude wrote these a very long time ago and they are in the public domain. So you shouldn't have to pay for them, okay?